Hello everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is just about 6 o'clock on June 27th, 2018. I am currently sitting in the backyard of one Mr. Ben Stone, the bad Quaker. Uh, I've been here now for a couple of days. Uh, I didn't record a vlog yesterday. I've kind of been doing every other day since, uh, since I reached the MPL Fest uh, last week just because I was having so many problems with uploading these vlogs and I figured I was going to fall so far behind that even if I recorded one every day, it would take me forever to upload them all and catch back up again. So it's kind of worked out that I, I had to miss a couple of days. So now I think uh, I'll just do every other day until uh, I'm finally caught back up and then I'll be back to doing my uh, my daily vlogs. At th by that point, I'll probably be uh, back in the New York area. I have been taking my time since uh, since I left the fest. Uh, Shane Radliff and I uh, took off Wednesday, uh, Monday morning, rather, or actually Monday afternoon. I think by the time we got out of there, it was almost one o'clock, and uh, we headed down to uh, Southern Ohio to stop at Ben Stone's house. And he and his wife Cindy and their daughter Kai have been uh, ridiculously hospitable to us. They they've been awesome hosts. Uh, been feeding Cindy's been feeding us really well. Uh, Ben's been uh, been been really fun to hang out with and talk to, and uh, just listen to you know some of the stories he has to tell. And uh, we even got a couple of a couple of podcast recordings in while we were here uh, up at the fest. I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but now it's been a couple of days. I don't even remember. <laughs> we uh, we did like four or five hours of recording for Seeds of Liberty uh, on the last night, and there was also another episode at one point that I did with Shane Buell and Shane Radliff, and then we got here. And yesterday we recorded a an episode of Liberty Under Attack for Shane for his podcast. Uh, it was just Ben sat sat kind of sat in. He was sitting there with a microphone near him, but uh, Shane didn't Shane didn't go to him at any point, so he never picked that up. And it was just so it was just Shane and I. But Ben sat in on the whole thing. But that ended up getting a lot of people excited because Ben's wife took a picture of us uh, in in the process of doing the podcast and put her on Facebook, and a whole bunch of people were immediately like, "Oh my God, Ben's on a podcast! We have to hear that!" So. Had to make sure we had got at least one in. So this morning, uh, we recorded an episode of Abolitionist Abstractions, and uh, Shane and Ben joined me. And uh, we had a wonderful conversation. We talked for like an hour and a half. It was a lot of fun. And now, uh, like I said, it's about 6 o'clock here, but I'm still here. Shane actually uh, ended up taking off around 1 o'clock this afternoon so he can continue his journey because, uh, as I've mentioned in a bunch of these vlogs before, uh, he is uh, speeding up the process for his, his attempt at van nomadism, and uh, he's already on his way now. I think he had to stop in Illinois, maybe for the night uh, or maybe just for a little bit to pick up some things, and then he was headed down to Oklahoma, uh, Tulsa area, I believe, to go meet up with our friend uh, Aaron Thompson, who used to do the Liberty Lampoon podcast. Now they have a new podcast called Millennial Pirate Radio, but he's supposed to go hang out with him and you know hang out with him for a night and then head down to Houston to... Uh, to meet up with his co-host Kyle Reardon and uh, start his new living arrangement for the time being until he can get his van set up and back on the road. So, you know, we, we made sure we got the recording in before he left, and now it's just me here hanging out with Ben. I, I opted to stay one more night. Uh, like As I said, they've been extremely gracious. Uh, they keep telling me I could stay as long as I want, and I keep telling them that they should stop, uh, be careful what they wish for because they may have a tent permanently in their backyard. Uh, I did set up my tent when I got here, so I didn't even have to bother asking that, you know, di didn't want to oppose too much, but they were more than willing to let me set up a tent. Um, so, you know, Murder Dog and I have been out there at night, uh, which has been fine. And now that, uh, now that, it, now that it's getting towards the end of the week, I'm going to start heading, heading back home and, uh, cause I do want to see my kids. I finally got to Skype with them yesterday. And, uh, you know, after everything that happened a couple of weeks ago where I didn't get to see them and they were out of town and. Now I, you know, I'm out of town. I'm by my, by my own choice, but you know, this was a planned trip, and I was just trying to have as much fun as I could while I was out here. So now I'm going to slowly make my way back. I I'm probably going to head out of here tomorrow morning, and then try to stop off at my buddy Paul Paul Gordon's place over in uh, the Lehigh Valley area of Pennsylvania uh, on my way home. It should take me about seven and a half, eight hours, I guess, according to ways to get there from here. So if I leave 10, 11 o'clock, I'll get there just around dinner time, maybe a little after, and uh, hopefully get to hang out with him a little bit. And I'm not sure. I may, depending on the situation there, depending on uh, you know whether he invites me to or not, I may, I may just, I may crash there for the night. Uh, even if we stay in the car there, that'll probably be fine. And then roll out the next morning and head back up to New York, which uh, is only about two and a half, three hours from where he lives. So then uh, I'll be back by Friday to hang out 
And again, these these vlogs are going to come out uh, a, a little behind, but since I didn't record one yesterday, yeah, this one will probably be out by, yeah, I guess Saturday maybe. Um, so anyway, you'll be a day behind, but hopefully it's pretty soon we'll be all caught up. But that's uh, that's about it. Like I said, it's it's been great, you know, other than being separated from my kids uh, and missing them and, and then having the issues with the internet up there so I couldn't even Skype with them or anything. Um, you know, I've had a blast. Uh, getting to hang out with Shane Radliff for pretty much an entire week uh, was a, was a really great experience. I'm really, you know, I when I said goodbye to him, oh, she's nuts out here, kind of crazy. Um, when I said goodbye to him earlier, I told him, you know, this is I, I was I was really glad that he he and I got to share this experience together because we really were. We met up last Wednesday at four o'clock at a at a <laughs> at a Walmart in Kalamazoo. And we've been in extremely close proximity to each other, you know, at, you know, whether we were at the campgrounds, even if we weren't hanging out, we were still in the same area. And we've uh, pretty much been together for the better part of a week. You know, when he finally left today, it was almost a week, uh, almost exactly a week. And it, it was a really great time. I, uh, you know, I've known Shane for a while. We've done, uh, we've done each other's podcasts. Well, technically, today was my first time or yesterday was my first time doing LUA in three plus years. But, you know, we'll forgive him for that because I've done his, I've done the Vanu podcast a couple of times, but. So we've done each other po- each other's podcast. Uh, we've bounced ide- ideas off of each other over the years, and uh, we're actually we actually have a Telegram group with the uh, aforementioned Aaron Thompson and the three of us talking there. But you know, we've kept been kind of quiet lately. But you know, we usually talk in there and pass ideas back and forth, and you know, just talk about different things. And obviously, him and I are doing you know I- I'm doing the Van Nomadism thing kind of temporarily. He's looking to do it a little more on a little more permanent basis for a while. So we have a lot of uh, you know a lot of shared interests and stuff like that. And yeah, just getting to hang out with him for that whole time was great. We uh, we had so much fun, you know. We you know we recorded a bunch of stuff. We had a hell of a lot of laughs, and uh, you know it was a, it was a great time. So you know, Shane, I'm sure you, I, I know you'll watch this at some point. So th- thank you, brother. I, I really do appreciate it, man. It was great, and uh, I don't get a lot of experiences. Uh, or chances rather to have experiences like that with uh, any of my anarchist friends for that for that length of time. So getting to do that was uh, was definitely a blast, and uh, hopefully I can do more of it in the future. Because, uh, you know, still got to figure out where the heck I'm going, when I can finally get out of New York and all that stuff. And, you know, once I get out this way, I mean, we've been talking this whole, the whole week, really, uh, and, and continuing here into Ben's, uh, into our stay at Ben's house about uh, trying to get more, not even just necessarily festivals, but, you know, having, having a weekend or three or four day fests, kind of like, the, or even five day, like the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. Those are great. Uh, but talking more about even getting up just weekend camping trips set up all over the place, like all over the country, as many as we can, so that people, you know, van nomad, van nomads, anarchists, you know, whatever people, people who just want to get away from the uh, servile society, as they talk about in the Vanu podcast, uh, have the opportunity, you know, almost every weekend, you know, or once a month or whatever it is, just to get out, just you know, go someplace and camp and, and camp with a bunch of like-minded people and just. Uh, you know, share ideas, have some fun, and just get away from the craziness of the state for a little while. So we've been talking a lot about that, and I'm hoping to see a lot of this stuff come into fruition. So once I get out this way, you know, whether I end up in Ohio or Indiana or Michigan or wherever, uh, you know, I could take part in that and hopefully set some of them up. And yeah, just uh, keep this going. And because you know, as, as Shane mentioned earlier to me, the uh, the Midwest uh, the uh, the blues you know the post fest blues are finally starting to hit him as as he you know he knew they were going to as he drove away from here and he actually did a live stream uh, like a, an hour after an hour being in the car and leaving us here and at, from Ben's place he he was already doing a live stream on Facebook but I heard him saying that one too that you know the post fest fest blues are finally starting to sit in a little sink in a little bit uh, you know they were extended for us because we got to come here and hang out with Ben. Uh, but a lot of our other friends and people we know had to go right back to work again. Some of them on Monday. Excuse me one second. Some of them today. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we, people like he, him, and, Shane and I, we don't we don't really have jobs at the moment. We're finding ways to hustle and make money on the side. So we don't really have to get a, back to a job or anything. So it, the, the blues take a little while longer to hit us, but eventually it will. And I know once I get back home, it'll, it'll finally, it will, I'm, I am home. Jeez. I'm sitting on the tailgate of my, of my, of my house right now, <laughs> my back porch as it were. Um, uh, but once I get back to long Island and near my kids and stuff, uh, you know, obviously I'll be happy to see them, but I know the, the, the post fest blues will start to kick in a little bit. Cause yeah, as soon as it's over, my, my thoughts turn to, all right, how many days left till the next one? Because, uh, I really do love that place. I really do love the people. Uh, it's, you know, every year, every year has been better than the last, uh, this definitely was the best one yet. And, uh, I can't wait to see what happens next year. And hopefully, 
you know, hopefully I'll finally be out closer to it, number one. And number two, hopefully I'll uh, either take part in or just uh, be around for the setting up of more of these. So, uh, you know, we could start doing these more often and more people have a chance to connect outside of social media with their uh, their anarchist friends. Because, uh, yeah, it's great to, great to have those connections and know that you're not alone completely. But it's even better when you get to hang out in person and talk and uh, have some crazy conversations and drink a few beers and whatever whatever you want to do just have a great time so looking forward to that and hopefully in the next year we'll be able to uh i'll, I'll be able to help bring bring more of that to uh to the community because i think it's something that's really needed so on that note i think i'm going to sign off and uh you know like i said i'm really enjoying myself here uh couldn't ask for better hosts and uh hopefully i'll get to return you know I've, I've i've got somewhat of an open invitation it seems like so when i when i start returning to uh out to this area to finally start scouting out locations uh to live in then uh hopefully i'll be able to stop by again and hang out for a little while because uh, this has been great so anyway this has been abolitionist jay thank you everybody as always for watching thank you for your patience as i disappeared for a little while although again nobody actually contacted me as if they were worried i think we talked about this come on folks what's up with that Anyway, uh, yeah, so I will catch you next time. Like I said, most likely uh, there'll be another one. I'll, I'll record another one in a couple of days, and hopefully by that point, one, when I post that one, I'll finally be caught up, and we'll be back on track to do the one of days again. So I can uh, get back to keeping you, uh, you know, up to date on what's going on in the uh, Van Nomad of Life. Van Nomad of Life. Yeah, geez, I can't even speak now, so I definitely have to see, sign off. The Van Nomad Life. Anyway, thanks again, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.